Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Plugins for MicroStrategy training. This training will consist of three separate modules. One is for installing your plugin. The second one uh, training will uh, allow you to be um, get get started in uh, report development in the uh, MicroStrategy plugin and where to get extra resources. And the third module is uh, a whole module on sharing what you've developed and being able to control um, what people see and how they see it when you share uh, your MicroStrategy plugin um, projects. Okay, so the first one is, is installing the software. And um, the first thing you must have is you, you've got to have admin access on your computer. So that's the first thing to make sure that you have. Uh, you must have at least the dashboard access to MicroStrategy. And um, you can request that from uh, Enterprise Systems. You uh, will be installing this from the web. So what you do is you sign on to the MicroStrategy web and there's a link to install the um, the plugin, and then I'm going to go through some uh, some quick setting up options so that uh, you're ready to to move on uh, using the plugin. So uh, we're going to go out of here and go into MicroStrategy Web, and this is just your sign on that I've already covered in the other beginning videos. You've gone in through CAS and you get to production. And in the upper right hand corner now, you will see an option that says install MicroStrategy Office. And this is what will install that plugin. That plugin will install in uh, Excel as well as in Word and PowerPoint. So the interface works in all three um, levels. Uh, remember that if you ever have any questions about uh, the tool or where who to contact, you can always click on the uh, the orange uh, question mark and it will take you into our Confluence site which has links to everything. Uh, this is getting access to the dashboard, uh, the tutorials and training and all of your other resources are in this Confluence page. So um, it's a little bit about that but we'll go back to the production. When you choose to install and it's going to be a little bit different on my machine because I'm already installed but you need to know whether you have a 32-bit MicroStrategy Office or a 64-bit. Um, I happen to have a 64-bit, so I'm going to click on there. And you'll be asked to run the um, software, same as if you were installing anything else on your computer. Now, if you don't have administrative access, you may need to contact the um, Oh, I, I have 32-bit, so I won't install it on 32-bit. Uh, you may need to contact the, the person that is the administrator for your, your desktop machine before you can install it. So you can see that if you selected the wrong one, it will just tell you. So you don't have to worry about selecting the wrong one of the 32 or 64-bit. Now, I'm going to pick repair. Um, I could, uh, if you, if this is your first time through, you would, you would say install, but I've already got something installed, so this is just going to repair it. The process is the same. You might get this little icon at the top of your screen, which is the little, are you, is this okay to install? And so you say yes. It'll take a few a few minutes to just um, copy your files. Uh, it works the same as any other Install Shield Wizard on on uh, Microsoft. Let's 
being very slow. Okay, now it's, it's successfully installed, so I'm just going to click Finish, and now I'm set with um, with MicroStrategy Office. Uh, that is all that's involved in that step. You can close this link. Uh, we'll leave this up in case we need it at some point. And now I'm going to go into Excel. over here and you will see that in Excel it created this MicroStrategy tab that is the add-on. If you click on that tab it gives you a set of options to use within MicroStrategy and the first thing you have to do is click on the options And under General Server, you need to enter in the link to the um, production MicroStrategy server. So this is really setting up a link directly to whatever you have uh, within MicroStrategy itself. Uh, so it's a live link in between the two. And this is all you need to do is type in this and in the um, uh, notes on the PowerPoint, I have the links for both uh, production, this is a production link, and then the pre link will link you to the uh, tutorial databases if you want to try out uh, the plugin with, uh, with pre -prod. All you need to do is change the link, close Excel, bring, come back in, and it will be linked to the pre instance instead of the production instance. So this is already linked. So now the Office plugin is activated by the star. And so if you click on it, you will find that you are actually linked directly to production. And you put in your LDAP password. This is connecting through LDAP. So all of the security that's set up in production MicroStrategy is the exactly the same in this uh, because of the LDAP groups you belong to. So I'm going to sign in with my LDAP password. And you see that now I'm signed on and I have access to the production instance, which if you've gone through the MicroStrategy um, tutorials that, I, that I've done previously, it's the exact same thing as the project that you see when you sign in. So I'm going to sign in here, I'm going to select production. And what you get is very similar to what you see in the web. You have my reports. So here's some reports that I've done, your shared reports, and you know it can go into student and spot because that's what I have authority for in, in production. Um, you can go into your Excel reports and you see I haven't done any at this point. So if I have um, run some reports into Excel, you would see them there my history list. Everything is uh, basically um, very similar to what you see in, in the, the web interface. Okay, so we're in and we have a list of reports. And to use the plugin, I'm going to use this example here that I've been using as a demo. I've just navigated in my reports. I have this report that I want to run. And if I run it, basically I have the same prompts that you would see on the production uh, system. I do next, execute the report. And you see now it's appearing in, in the reports section. But in addition, 
you'll see on Excel itself, it actually put that report in Excel. Now, there are lots and lots of options. You can only dump the data, you can clear the data, you can um, do just, you can de define what the format is and where it goes on what workbook. If you chose uh, several reports, they would go on different worksheets or you could define them to go on the same worksheet in different places. All of this can be accessed through the MicroStrategy Office user guide. And this is a very useful user guide and you can access it from the, the question mark on the, on the toolbar. And I'm just trying to find it now. Okay, I just clicked on on the question mark and I get the, the uh, toolbar and it's very large. Okay, so um, you can, uh, there's information on getting started and we'll cover that in the next session about a little bit about getting started. We, we just covered running a report and there's far more that you can do. Um, and getting using it in Excel, using it in PowerPoint, in Word. This is a great application for those presentations that you do repeatedly and you have to do a lot of formatting in order to get the presentation set up. This would automatically go into the, the official setup. So um, if lots of um, possibilities. What you really need to do is think about what you want to do and then search through the guide to find out the right um, the right way to do it, or um, send a send a request to our BIS uh, service request. Okay, uh, that is all there is in the first section. We just wanted you to be able to install your software, to uh, get online, and. Uh, The PowerPoint has this total setup also for your reference along with notes and then we have a link to the BIS help so when you want to get to um, support you can you can uh, go on the link that's in the PowerPoint presentation so that is all for installing your uh, Microsoft plugin for MicroStrategy